Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting one. I have been dreaming up after searching Pinterest, you know, scrolling, an idea for our entry wall. And I'll insert a clip here. Um, basically, it's as soon as you walk into our house, there is a wall. Um, and it's kind of like a hallway kind of situation. Um, but it is the first wall that you see. And I have been wanting to do this. And I'll pop it up on the screen as well. Um, in this spot. And um, finally... I figured out how I think I'm going to do it. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I got it done. Um, I'll probably voice over the process for you. But guys, $25. That was it. That's all it cost me. Um, I mean, it may cost you a little bit more. I am blessed that I do have a Cricut. And all I needed to purchase were the wood, the plexiglass, and some wood stain. But to be honest with you, I have wood stains. So I probably shouldn't have spent the money on it, but I bought that as well. I did purchase a new knife. That's going to be key. If you do not have a good knife, please get one. Do yourself a favor because in the clips I'm going to show you in this video, um, well, let's just be honest. I was struggling and I was talking to my husband and I was really... <laughs> debating just quitting but I wanted to get this done again it's it turned out so good guys and I cannot wait to show you it uh, but I went and I bought a new knife um, a better quality one and uh, so much easier so if you are interested in $25 wall decor especially one that's kind of like a um, one that is a Pinterest trend, uh, you want to stick around, um, like subscribe, comment. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel. I am a mom and a wife and I live in Hampton Roads, Virginia, and I do a little bit of everything, um, homemaking, thrifting, crafting, um, soon, and very soon, I'm sure we'll be moving, so you'll get to see some of that. Uh, I have no idea where we're moving to, so there's, there's that. Uh, I just know that's coming down the pipeline for us and our family. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, I'll put in one of these corners a video where I chatted for like 20 minutes about my life and just to catch you up and introduce you to who I am. Uh, but stick around. Thanks so much for coming along with me on this journey. You are so appreciated, and uh, let's go check out all this stuff. Well, you guys, for starters, I wanted to give you this supply list, so uh, screenshot that if you're interested in doing this as well. Um, then I started working in on my Cricut. Um, I mentioned earlier in my intro, this did only cost me $25 because I already have a Cricut. I also already had the vinyl, so no cost to me there. But I do think, and I did include it on that uh, supply list, that I think if you found large black stickers, I think you could achieve this as well. Um, I know Dollar Tree sells large stickers in the poster section, so you could, you could probably get away with doing uh, this with those stickers. Um, but if you do have a Cricut, I measured for my letters to be no taller than four inches and no wider than two inches because I did end up cutting my plexiglass to four by six inch sizes. Um, I just thought that was a good size. I didn't want anything too, too big. Uh, so the size, sizing of letters um, made the most sense. I did determine that I'm going to do the verse uh, Deuteronomy 28.6, which is you are blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Um, so I did, before filming, I did figure out how many of each letter that I needed to print out. 
I did determine afterwards, after I'd already finished filming and uh, before I shot the last shot that you'll see at the very end of today's video, that I forgot to print out a C. Um, I do not know how I managed that. But uh, this process was really simple, just a lot of copy paste and changing out the letter. And then, of course, printing it out on my Cricut machine. Uh, but super, super simple. Um, I'm going to turn on some music real quick until we get to the next part. guys and now we're taking a look at that plexiglass that I was talking about before um I already mentioned that I did do my um my plexiglass backgrounds of my letters I don't know how to explain it uh exactly what those would be called but I did do those at four by six so here I am doing a step that was totally not um <laughs> at all needed to be done so don't do this part, guys. You only need to do one part at a time, uh, four by six. But you'll see here uh, in a little bit that I do struggle um, when I'm cutting and trying to bend the plexiglass, which is basically what you do. You score it with a knife, and then you slowly bend it, you know, applying even pressure, um, and then it's supposed to snap. Well, uh, this is where I go back to saying, get yourself a good knife. Um, I got one, a utility knife at that. You'll see right now I'm using a X-Acto knife because that's what I had. Um, but this is not the time to be using an X-Acto knife. Um, you'll see I'm struggling, struggling, struggling. So I just keep cutting. Um, I applied, um... A little bit more pressure I ended up cutting on the other side it just became a lot more difficult of a process whereas uh, the next day whenever I worked on this see right there I just broke the plexiglass and I complained to my husband because I was really irritated um, but the next day whenever I went to finish this I did have a better quality knife and it went so much smoother um, it took like I did two passes with the utility knife and then just uh, bent it a little bit and it pretty much snapped on its own. Um, no breaks, no snags, no nothing. It was so much better. I mean, I would say probably about all of this. Um, <laughs> there's Samuel. Um, probably a good majority of 
this night. I just struggled to get this cut. So I'm telling you guys, get yourself a good knife and this whole process will be significantly easier for you. Um, but that's all I'm doing here. And again, I'm doing four by six. Um, and I did have a 24 by 36 inch sheet. I will tell you that the cheapest place that I got it was actually at Hobby Lobby for a 24 by 36 inch sheet. It was only $5.99, I believe. And that was the cheapest I could find, even over going to like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, but let me turn on some more music until we get to the next step, um, which won't be too much longer. Uh, basically, the next step is putting the letters on each one of these. But um, so I might actually just turn on some tunes for even that part as well. Um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
All right, and now for the mounting portion, I did opt to just use command strips. Uh, these are the picture hanging command strips. I did just do the small ones because I did three strips um, on each board. I did use 48 inch wide boards. Uh, so depending on what your wall space is, depends on the size and how many letters you have and all that. Um, but these are just command strips and I'll show you uh, how I put them up in just a little bit. But the spacing between them was eight inches between each one. And then of course I used a level to make sure that it all was level but guys I ran into a hiccup with this wall that I did not notice until I tried putting a straight board onto the wall and stick around for the very end I did put in a small little clip um, of what happened here um, <laughs> I was not expecting it and I was kind of frustrated and trying to figure out what to do but it all worked out in the end um, but basically like my wall right here is not straight. It's bowed in the center and it literally just like popped off the wall. Um, it was quite funny. Also kind of frustrating. Um, but here I took one of the letters and put it on the wall, uh, because I wanted to see how high I needed to go. But like I mentioned, they are, uh, eight inches above one another. And, um, then I just put them up on the wall and in just a little bit, you will see the before and after. But guys, this was so easy to do. Um, I did stain these. I did record that. I have no idea where that footage went to. Um, but I think you know how to stain wood. Um, if not, check YouTube. I'm sure someone will tell you how to do it. But I stained those. I let them cure overnight. Um, and so... I really didn't do much with these, uh, but stained them and add command strips to it. It was super, 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 super easy. And adding the letters, which I did not have enough room to fit the whole scripture verse on it, but uh, it turned out really, really good. Um, let's take a look at the before and the after. Well, that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um comment down below if you're interested in doing this if you think you'll do it in your house if you do it in your house or if you've already done it share some pictures down below i'd love to see them um i also wanted to let you guys know of a giveaway um this is my 10th video and i want to give back to those who have helped support me in this journey. So the entry is very, very easy. Basically just comment down below, like this video and subscribe, and I'll be picking a winner. And, and I'll probably announce it in next week's video. I am also on Instagram. It's Rachel's Wholesome Home is the handle and uh, you can follow me over there as well. I'll be honest, I am not very good at posting. It is something that I am trying to get better at, um, but you can follow me over there. I do post a lot of updates over there, whether or not, you know, I'll have to miss a video or if something is delayed or whatever, what have you. But again, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys back uh, next week. But in the meantime, have a great week, you guys. And thank you again so, so much. But bye, guys. <laughs>